Welcome back to another YouTube video. It's your girl Chrissy Chella here and today is another vlog. You guys have been loving vlogs and honestly I've been loving doing them. I came off them, I felt a bit weird. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of things got to my head and then I just thought, F it. Like I used to love vlogging, I used to love just chatting rubbish and whoever wants to be here listening to me chat rubbish, great. If you don't, it's okay too. But fundamentally, I don't know. I <laughs> I just kind of want to share my life. So here we are. Guys, it is Sunday. I have had little Leona sleep over today. She's gone home, but look at her with buttons in the morning. So it's the first time she's ever slept alone in my house with me. And she's a big girl now. She's four and a half years old, nearly five. I'm so excited for her. She's my niece. I love her so much. Like, you know, when you love something so much, it hurts you. Like you just want to grit your teeth. So she stayed over. We watched a movie. I gave her a little bar. And then this morning, and I took her for some French toast. <laughs> you can see her here, happy as days. And then she went back home to her mummy and daddy. I, in the meantime, have actually been doing loads of try and hauls for Honor Active. Guys, I'm naked. Well, I've got underwear on. But you know what? You've literally seen absolutely every aspect of my body. So I've got some new Honor Active undies on. These are our cotton undies that we're going to be launching, hopefully, in. March or April, don't quote me, because things always shift around, but I'm super excited for these. They're coming out in gray, white, and black. And Little Miss Buttons is eating her food, the food I make her, because she eats better than me. And I need to get my ass to the gym, but I don't actually want to go to the gym. I've been twice this week, and then I'm like, oh. You know, you just get to that point where you're just like, I'm sore, I'm tired, but I'm not too tired that I shouldn't go. I'm making excuses, so I should just really get my ass up and go. So we're gonna motivate each other and we're gonna get going. Some news for you, actually. Maybe I should put some clothes on for this. Two secs. I didn't feel like sharing that news <laughs> in my underwear. It just felt very inappropriate. So nothing too big, but I have decided to not renew my contract with Women's Best. If you guys do not know, I have been a Women's Best ambassador slash athlete for the past seven years. Woo, that's been a long time. However, I've made the recent decision to not renew my contract and part ways. Honestly, the fundamental reason was because Women's Best are pursuing more of an active wear line process situation there it started off as a supplement brand now they're venturing out which I'm super happy for them and everything that they're doing however it just didn't feel genuine enough for me anymore to support that because I have my own active wear line and I just felt like it was colliding too much and I just felt like it was too close for comfort so they were totally understanding and supportive and they understood the reason and they also felt like it no longer felt right and you know my focus is on our active and evolve you and other businesses ventures that I am partnering with, supporting and going into as creative director, which I'm super excited to share with you this year, because these are very, very, very big opportunities for my career. I've always kind of been someone who worked for brands and now I have my own brands and now to also be approached by brands to come in as a global creative director to help their brands is mind blowing to me, which is something I could never, ever, ever, ever fathom. So that's the decision, just so you know, and I just want to say a massive thank you for every single time you've supported me and supported Women's Best. Um, I think they're great. I think what they're doing is amazing. I just want to focus more on other things and also it was just too close for comfort. I just wanted to be open about it really and just tell you why in case you're like, Chrissy, why are you not promoting Women's Best anymore? So that's why. But I feel like I'm telling my parents sometimes when I'm like vlogging about it, I feel like, oh my God, is everyone going to be okay with this decision? And it's like, no, no, honey, you've got to be okay with the decision. <sighs> All right, it felt good getting that off my chest. Right, I've made the executive decision not to go to the gym today. I don't want to go. I don't feel like going. I'm too tired. I'm not going to go. No, we're not going. But instead, we are going to go food shopping. Look at this mess. Guys, I've literally been doing try and haul after try and haul on my Sunday. It's just like, can we just not? Sometimes we just want to chill and sleep and watch movies. So we're going to go food shopping together and we're actually going to juice a bit. We're going to make some meal prep for the week ahead. I've got one more week in the UK and then I travel to the States. I'm actually going to Florida for a bit of a vacation, which I'm super excited about. And then I'm going to LA for a little bit of chill time, meeting some friends, some family, all of that good jazz. I'm going to go food shopping. You're going to come with me and we're going to do a bit of meal prep and we're going to do a little bit of packing. 
lacking. That's what we're gonna do. I feel like that sounds so much better for my soul. Sometimes it's okay not to go to the gym. Sometimes it's okay to say no, I don't wanna go. Sometimes boundaries and saying no, it just means you're gonna do something you actually wanna do. Monday, we'll go to the gym. It's not the end of the world. Just your reminder, your healthy reminder to have a healthy relationship with the gym. It should never consume your life. It should elevate your life. Always remember that. I blend so many perfumes. I love perfumes, you guys. I'm gonna show you some of my perfumes that every single time I wear them, everyone always goes, you smell so good. I don't wanna tell anyone, but I don't wanna get cute because I'm not that kind of person. So my absolute favorite perfume and the perfume that is literally the most beautiful, gorgeous scent that is just, people will remember you is this one. This is so stunning. It is unbelievable. I love, love, love this scent. This scent is like my pretty much day to day. If I don't know how I wanna smell, this is the one I wear. Then, if you wanna smell like a forest, and it sounds weird, but like the bonfire kind of forest, warm, kind of earthy. These are the two that I blend alongside with this Aesop one. I told you, I love perfume. So if you want a scent, let me know because I'm gonna find it for you. So you have this Aesop one, then you blend this one, which it says by the fireplace, and then Le Labo another 13. So if you add two of these or even three of these together, you will smell like a gorgeous fire place, warm and cozy. And then if you want something super sweet, this is another perfume. I wear this on like a night out or, or like a date night or whatever, you know, like a sexy night out. This one from Killian. Don't be shy. Yo. Yo. When you wear this, mm, mm, mm. You know, you just, you know, I'm gonna spray a little bit at the grocery shop. You know, you just, if you're looking for a man, you go for that. That's all I'm saying. Right, let's let's just go. Ah, I'm back. I am gonna make some fresh juice for the week. So what I've decided to use is lemons, ginger, carrots, aloe, and then I have some like leftover apples all the way from Christmas. I don't wanna get rid of them, so I'm just gonna also juice some apples. And I make a big batch, and then in the morning, I'll just have some. But I don't really like aloe vera on its own, but when you blend it with stuff, it actually doesn't taste so bad. Guys, I'm just about to get my hair done. So this is my natural length with no extensions. And my hair's actually got very light at the bottom. I've stopped toning it because I want the roots to grow out. So it's actually got really red at the bottom because I haven't neutralized it. So I think I'm gonna maybe need some purple shampoo. I don't know, or blue shampoo. I'll look into it. But my gorgeous, gorgeous girl is here. Say hello, introduce yourself. Hello, my name's Amy. And what do you do? Transform you today. She oh, is the only got the hair ready for you. Only person in the world I trust to do my hair. It, I'm blushing. So every time you see my hair long and thick and with extensions, that's who does it. And listen, I get my hair in and out probably. So let's say I have my hair in maximum for six weeks max. And then when they come out, my hair still feels thick and glossy and healthy. And that is so important because hair extensions can either completely ruin your hair or thin it out. So then I give my hair a bit of a break. Normally I give it like two or three weeks. I don't have time this time because I'm going back to the States and I'm on vacation, I wanna look Put together we're gonna put them back in and also the trick for hair extensions number one i get tapes over bonds i do not like bonds we've tried them before they're just too too difficult for my hair so i have so much of it so we spend nearly four hours putting them in which is an ideal tapes take an hour and a half and also the aim of the game is to not actually trim your ends too much just condition them nourish them but if they're actually rougher, it's better because then there's an easier blend. Right? Oh, you, you, 
you pay attention, don't you? It's because I've learnt from the best. Yeah. So I'm going to put them in and I'm going to show you the end result. Bless her, she comes and does my hair on a Sunday whilst I'm doing emails and work. Dedication. You know, like, we've got to tell people the reality because I feel like people yeah. also make you feel bad when you want to hustle. Should be having a Sunday lunch right now, shouldn't I? Don't make me feel bad. No, it doesn't work with me. I'm joking. When you love something and you want to do it, you just like doing it. Okay, guys, this is the final look. Look at that length. And look at that blend as well. And also for it to look like this when it's straight is so good. Look at that, looks so nice. And then we blend it in. And then the beauty is because when I'm on set and I'm directing, I pin my hair back because I need it off my face to look at the camera and to look at all the shots. And look at that, you can't even see the extensions. That's so good. I love it so, 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 so much. Okay, we've just spoken and from one business woman to another we're gonna do a giveaway so if you want your hair fitted the hair paid for and fitted in by my lovely lady you have to go and follow her and comment down below if you want your hair done you have to be UK based I'm sorry this was a very spontaneous giveaway but you have to be UK based because that's where she is please 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 you must be following here this is it, I'll also put, put it in the description box. And also comment down below if you want your hair done and I will pick someone at random. And then this year we will schedule in for you to get your hair done. So show another woman's support. And also if you don't want your hair done, just follow her because it's so important for us to get the word out there and support and help small businesses because it's very, very, very important for everyone, for our economy, people, for our economy. Our economy. All nice hair. And, and for our hair. For the sake of the hair. <laughs> right, anyways, I need to cook. I need to make some food. What I'm making is sweet potato fries. I've already put them in the oven. I did not make them. I shop bought them because the thought of me sitting and peeling a sweet potato, chopping it, like, no. We're not gonna do that, all right? We are working gals. We don't have time, but I'm gonna make chicken. So I'm gonna put some chicken breast on a plate because I'm gonna marinate it. I'm going to fry it with some olive oil and then I'm going to slow cook it for a little bit. My favorite way to make chicken is actually in a slow cooker, but I should have done that this morning and then it would have been done now. But anyway, we didn't have the chicken. We won't go there. Could have, would have, should have. We didn't. <laughs> The packing has begun. I'm trying to pack everything that I need in one suitcase for four weeks. Yep, 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 that's right. I'm trying to keep everything very simple, like a, some bottoms, a few tops, uh, like a jacket I always wear, leather jacket I always wear. Everything I need, majority of it is active wear as always. Everything I need in one suitcase, so wish me luck. <laughs> 